Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrying throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you're forcing the story to fit or you with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So um, I'm going to... I'm going to start off with this card right here. So um, I'm not going to tune into this energy. I'm going to keep this one really short. Uh, I am channeling this message, but I don't want to get too deep into it. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like for some reason I'm not supposed to. And um, there's another message that's going to come out tonight. Uh, that was actually supposed to come out this morning, um, but I was instructed to put it out tonight and to do this message this morning. Um, for those of you looking forward to the Omen Reading Workshop or, or Omen Reading, reading um, Series, that's going to be posted Sunday or Monday, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. If you're not a channel member, that's only available to channel members. The membership link is down in the description box below. Um, and okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. What we have here is we have this card. And this is talking to me this way. It's actually speaking to me this way. And um, I'm, I don't know how light this is going to be for you guys right now. It seems pretty dark for me. I know it changes when I upload it, but we're going to lighten that a little. So uh, this is about the third eye. That's what this card is about. And this is actually what it's speaking to me about is the third eye. Um, but there's an energy that's swelling up that is activating the third eye right now. For some of you, this is going to be heart stuff you've unblocked uh, and ways that you're expressing and feeling love in a deeper sort of more pure way. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be an expression that you've partaken in, whether it's a clear communication about things you've needed to talk about or showing up in the world in a different way, in a way that truly expresses who you are. There's some sort of energy that's just surging up and this it's almost like a wave, right? It, it causes this water to come up and the sand pushes up. It's like that. There's this energy that can't help but bubble up into this third eye space. This is causing something for a person. And this isn't causing clairvoyance or any of the like stereotypical things we talk about when we talk about the third eye. The third eye is much more dynamic than all of that. Um, this is where a person is having this mind expanding experience. Previous to this, whoever I'm reading for, we may have been, have been in that sort of ego trap of spirituality, right? And this is where most people stay. Um, and so I'm not trying to poo-poo on anybody who has ascribed this or tell you that you're not good enough. This isn't what this is. I'm just explaining the energy of this to explain someone where they've come from. Uh, but I do have to call it the way that it is in this energy that's coming out. And um, <clears throat> previous to this phase, we're, we're the, we were in a position where we did need the labels. We needed um, the feeling of belonging. We needed the feeling of I'm this, this, that, right? You know what I mean? The people that list off all the labels of what they are because they can't just let themselves be, right? Um, because they have to be understood. They have to have people understand that I have these gifts and I'm, you know, I can do these things. And we're still in that phase, which there's nothing wrong with that phase. That's a phase of self-discovery, right? That's a really beautiful phase of self-discovery. And we need that. Um, but that also at some point transitions from self-discovery into ego gratification and um, somebody has gotten out of that sort and that's where it is a spiritual trap somebody has gotten out of that and has come into this very mind expanding expanding place where it's oh I'm not supposed to be special I'm supposed to understand that I'm connected right that we're all here together someone is coming into that place it's a place of more humility which is the result of the mind opening up, of our energy body expanding, of our consciousness expanding. Consciousness cannot expand when it's weighed down by the weight of that sort of like ego trap, right? Um, we may think that our consciousness is expanding and then what happens when it actually does? You have this, oh, moment <laughs> where, oh, so my mind is blown. And so, and like literally this happens, this may have happened to you because this card was next. Um, this being in the dark of the upper section of this card, what that says is that someone's belief system has completely blown up completely blown up and this can be a very scary place this is even a horse whose head is on fire with this information running back to the past um there may be an urge to do that to like you know tuck tail and run back and say no 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 i was safer here it was more comfortable here i knew what was over here um you're being guided not to do that if that's you this is the information that's coming through um this is very beautiful energy and this is vital to the spiritual journey this is where we're starting to actually awaken right a lot of people when they get on their spiritual journey it's not for me or this this guy i'm trying to stay away from this energy um here where it seems like it's trying to say that you know we have false awakenings where we become aware of doesn't mean we're awake right these awakenings are these mind expanding um 
experiences. And sometimes that mind expansion was understanding that there's a spiritual side to things. Um, even conceiving that within our reality. Uh, sometimes that mind expanding and that awakening is understanding that, oh, there is a connection between people. Somebody here has had a very big activation though. And this is like crumbling. So these are some, these are some intellectual tower moments, maybe some emotional tower moments, um, because we're getting something stripped away from us that does not serve where we're going. It doesn't serve the next phase of our journey. Let me see that here. We're on a next phase of our journey. And um, the fool carries nothing more than the lessons from the previous life. You're entering a new era for yourself on your journey. And you're being guided with the appearance of the fool card after this to take nothing with you other than what's inside that little bag, meaning the experiences you've already gotten. And that doesn't mean leave your home, leave your family. I'm talking about the labels, the identifications that we need, right? The need to belong, the need to be special or set apart or chosen. Um, if we can leave those things behind for the next part of our journey, this is what's really going to happen here. We have these two cards showing up. This here is a cycle of awakening, not just one awakening and then another awakening five years later or another awakening. This is a cycle of awakening that is progressively happening. It's not this ah moment. It's an era of awakening. This is profound. If you look at this, it's her higher heart is opening up. This is, for me, the most important thing that we can achieve. I talk often about getting that divine energy. It goes through different phases in our era, or in our lives, which kick off like five to ten years of our spiritual journey, focusing on each one. Most of the collective that I read for is still in the heart space. They may be somewhere between the heart space and about to enter the solar plexus. So themes of clearing out heart blockages, um, family trauma, uh, trauma from the past soul, um, issues of self-sovereignty, of making your own choice, of picking your own purpose, uh, of crafting your own future. These are all issues that we start to get into here, even a little bit of ancestral wounding. But the major theme is going to be appropriate boundaries appropriate boundaries what's mine what's yours and what doesn't belong to anybody um you know there's there's this energy here that whoever this is um you're in this place where we've healed something in here and that energy has surged and opened up in a different layer this third eye energy to allow us to expand our mind even more and now that our heart is safe is kind of how they're putting it to me now that we've worked on our boundaries now that our heart is safe it's okay to see the connection we can now let go of the need of being special or the need of being set apart and we can understand that no we're all here together we're all going towards the same goal, whether people choose that goal or not, we're all going in the same direction. And that direction is to go back home, uh, in, whatever that means to you. Maybe you are a star seed and you perceive that as a place. Maybe you are a person who believes going back to source. Maybe you're like me. And for you, that means coming back deeply into the self, the self being collective, the thing that is creating all the consciousness. There is, um, which is not any different than us ourselves, right? Uh, there, there's something here about understanding the big picture is coming through. And this is profound for somebody. And the more and more and more layers of this are going to open up as this sort of era for you continues. And so what I think is happening here is somebody has gone into really working with the... Um, the heart space and understanding the lessons of the heart space and this has allowed the higher heart to kind of activate a little bit more and as we sink down into this exactly what i am energy uh we're going to have more and more of this awakening take place here so that's very beautiful um I'm being given something to say and i'm gonna say this and before i say it i do want to explain something um and just know that when you're trying to when and like this isn't to like tell people off or anything i just want to make something clear uh before i say what i'm about to say for those of you who have left comments uh in my comment section because you feel that my reading isn't accounting for your version of events understand that the channeled messages that come through are for specific people they're not meant to account for your events it's a way to tell you that this isn't your reading right um if you are somebody who uh gets very triggered 
by people not sharing the same vendetta or vengeance against certain people that you have, uh, understand that people don't have to feel the way that you have, right? Um, at some point in our lives, we have to stop feeling that way in order for us to move on. And that's the place that a lot of people in this collective are. They've released the vendetta and they're moving on. And this is part of the healer's journey, right? This is part of being a survivor. Um, if you're not there yet, uh, you know, no rush, no rush. I'm not saying that where you are is a bad place. It's just to say, please don't come up in my comments and force that onto people, that they have to think this way, that they have to still be back there. A lot of people have worked very hard to get out of that energy because who's really affected by that energy? You are, because you're never going to get that vengeance, are you? Um, maybe some of you will if you came from a background like I did. Um, but by and large, most people aren't going to. So um, just just keep that in mind, right? Um, just know that if you leave a comment like that and I remove the comment, it's not anything personal to you. It's not because I don't care with what you're struggling with. It's because I don't allow wounded people to wound people in my comments, that's all. So um, be very mindful of the energy that you're sharing with this collective in the comments section, because I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am very mindful of that. So uh, to move on to this next thing that I'm going to say that all that was for, because I am sensitive to the fact that it is probably going to trigger a few people and that's okay, right? Um, it's understandable. Uh, I want to share something that Spirit is bringing through for me here. And um, it's showing me very much this experience that I had uh, in forest. And this was an experience I had about, mm, I want to say it was seven years ago. And uh, in this forest, I... I was the first person in my particular state, as far as I know, to, well, to experience in this forest um, that there was a wolf population that had come back. And whether it was a hybrid or an actual wolf population, the jury's still out on that because they're very elusive. Um, but I will never forget my experience with them. Uh, I was laying in my, my tent. Uh, someone else was there, but they were in their tent a little ways away. We were backpacking. We were all alone on this trail. There was nobody else out this weekend. And um, the moon had come up over the tree line and it was full. And we were on this ridge and all around the valley around us um, were just all the insects and bugs. And it was pitch black. It was so dark in this forest. And um, you could see some stars and you could see this moon come up and the rest of the sky was just like this, like not even like, it was like unnatural cloud cover. It was just so dark. And um, I noticed that the bugs just stopped. And I was like, well, that's weird. What is that? And then the next thing I hear is, arr, arr, arr. and I was like, that's not a dog. <laughs> that is not a dog. I've had large breed dogs my whole life. Some of them would howl. And I was like, that is not a dog. And um, as soon as that howl ended, you heard this symphony just all around, surrounding this ridge I was on. And I was like, what the? And I was like, those are wolves. Those are wolves. And I was like, we don't even have wolves. And um, I just listened to them. And I remember feeling this awe, right? And it's different than this awe. It, this awe is like akin to love, right? It's that kind of energy. And it was different than love that, you know, I feel when I try to evoke the feelings of love in a meditation or if like, you know, I'm talking to a person that I love. You know, we feel that in that central heart, right? That central heart chakra. So it's a little higher. And I've experienced this a few times in my life. But in this particular moment, I took very clear note of it. And, um, I remember thinking, wow, like we're kind of unsafe on this outcrop because there's not a lot for them to eat around here. And, um, you know, we're not necessarily in an environment that sustains this sort of species, which is why they haven't been in the environment. And uh, obviously if they're in it now, um, but it was just like, you know, should I be worried about this? I don't know. I've never really encountered wolves before, but it was this feeling that I can understand what a thing is and still feel this appreciation and love and awe for it because I understand what it is and that's good enough for me, right? It's still allowed to be what it is and I can appreciate the beauty that's still within it even though it is an apex predator, right? Or if, as far as like we're concerned, um, that thing if it is very hungry and it comes up on the ridge, like its, it's intent is gonna be to wreck my day. <laughs> um, but what spirit's bringing through is like, you know, most people can resonate with that sort of feeling, right? We, we watch animals on TV, we go to the zoo, we see them out in the wild, and we have this reverence for. 
um, because we know what it is and we've accepted what it is, which is part of that bigger perspective that we're adopting is accepting what things are and understanding the connection that exists. The thing that's coming through for spirit that I know is going to trigger some people is just one question. What if you viewed all people that way? Right? And uh, that's really all the energy I'm getting. So I'm going to leave this here. If this resonates for you, hit the like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. Um, and until next time.